Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. As you can see, I'm surrounded by cardboard boxes and that's because I'm still in the process of moving from one studio to another. I hope to reveal that new studio to you very, very soon. I'll tell you what, it does get expensive setting up a studio, doesn't it? So some freebies and some bargains are always welcome. I've got five amazing free plugins for you in today's video and also a bargain. If you follow the link in the description down below, you'll get 7% off of our sponsor for this video, DistroKid. Now let's dive in and take a look at the first of those plugins. The word legends is probably thrown around a little too freely sometimes, isn't it? Well, how about this? This is a new free piano library from Spitfire Audio. It works in their free labs player and it's called Autograph Grand. Now the library is sampled from a Yamaha C6 piano based in Woodshed Recording Studios in Malibu. And it's been played by such legends as Paul Simon, Barbara Streisand, Lady Gaga, Metallica, the list goes on, but I do think that they qualify as legends. Now there's not a lot to say about this library, so let's just have a quick listen. Now, as I say, not a lot of controls. We have a volume control here, and we have this, which is a dynamics control. This is actually quite interesting. I feel this is quite useful. If we put this all the way down, not only is it a little quieter, but it sounds really like a sort of a dampened piano, as if you've used the damp pedal. Let's have a listen to this again. And if you want to get really sort of bright sounding, you can go to the other extreme. I mean, if you automate that during the course of a song, it's going to feel really sort of well dynamic as the, the control suggests, but it's really going to add a lot of sort of expression to the song. We have another couple of controls. Um, this one's set to tightness at the moment, this big sort of dial here. We can click on that and switch it to reverb. Definitely, I'm going to recommend this because I've got a feeling if later in the year, I should do the best free plugins or libraries from 2023. I've got a feeling this may well be on there. Eon Arp, as its name suggests, is an arpeggiator plugin from Modalix. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Now, this is really useful if, for example, you've got a favorite synthesizer plugin, but it doesn't have an arpeggiator built into it. You can use this to trigger another plugin. Okay, now it does have its own built in synth. You can see that switched on here. Now I'm going to say up front, I don't think that that is its strength whatsoever. So it is useful that you can use this to trigger other plugins. Having said that, I'm actually going to be using it own built-in synth during this demo. I've got this um, preset loaded up here called Organish, um, but I'm also at the same time triggering um, another plugin, and that is this one. This is Pigments from Arturia, okay? So you'll be hearing both at the same time. Now you can see one of the preset patterns already loaded up here. They've cleverly made the word Eon out of a pattern. Uh, let's just have a quick listen to what's happening as I play a few variations on a G major chord here. Great, really simple and straightforward to use. You've got your various steps you can see here of your patterns. You know, as you would expect, you could sort of double click and add a new step in like so. You can move them around, you can change the length, etc. etc. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how you do that, but it's pretty intuitive all in all. One of the nice things you can do is store several patterns though, and then trigger them with key switches. So you can see there's several patterns 
been created at the top here as I click at the top, but I can flick between them using key switches. So um, the, the first one is on C, and then as I press D on the keyboard, we go to the second one, the third one, etc., is on E. So you could change between them like so. start to get really creative like that follow the link in the description down below to get hold of this free arpeggiator now analog obsession are a company who've decided to release all of their plugins for free you are encouraged however to sign up for their patreon which i would encourage you to do there is three plugins which i think really stand out from the crowd but there is actually a great variation of plugins available from them before we dive into that, talking about a great variation, there's a great variation of places you can release your music if you sign up with the sponsor of this video, DistroKid. One of the great things about DistroKid is its simplicity. For the simple price of $19.99 per year, you can upload an unlimited number of original tracks with no extra fees. Those tracks will be distributed on streaming platforms such as Spotify, TikTok, iTunes, Amazon Music, and many more without you needing to open accounts at any of those places. And if $19.99 isn't cheap enough for you, follow the link in the description down below to get a further 7% off right away. I will also get a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thank you. Have a listen to Analog Obsession Room 041 Reverb plugin applied to this acoustic guitar. Now, it sounds like it's in a fairly big space. We can adjust that mostly with the decay here. feeling like we're in a much bigger in a smaller space i'll turn that back up again and you'll also notice there's a stereo separation control here i'm just going to play with that so you can hear the difference with it all the way down it's much more sort of in the center and you can hear it's much wider as we get that so it's nice to have these features on a plug-in like this still sounding very wet at the moment so i'll just turn that down a tad i'll get to the preamp section in a moment but first of all I just want to demonstrate to you that we do have a, a post eq now what i did here was i um around about seven around about 780 hertz we can see there i just did a bit of gain reduction to get rid of some of the mud there i'll just turn it back up again so you can hear how it was sounding originally <laughs> where the mud is and that just helps to control the lower end of a reverb and then i just add a little bit of added a little bit of sparkle on the high end here yeah so i just picked around about 14 uh, kilohertz there and i just gave it a little bit of boost there i'll exaggerate that for you now so you can hear what's going on you can hear that there's too much now so i had it down here Now, I've also got a high pass filter happening there, but you'll notice unusually compared to other um, reverb plugins, there's this drive control. This just adds some distortion. I've got it completely clean at the moment, but I'll sort of turn it up and I'm going to put wet the wet signal up pretty high so you can clearly hear what's happening here. Have a listen. <laughs> So you can hear that the actual wet signal is really overdriven and you know distorted they're probably not very suitable for an acoustic guitar but it could be you know useful on all kinds of other instruments so i definitely recommend you grab hold of this to have in your reverb arsenal
SSQ is an SSL style EQ plugin from Analog Obsession. And it's a great start if you want to try and add a little bit of analog character whilst you're EQing in your productions. If you've never used anything like this before, let me give you a super quick overview sort of tutorial. If we look at these colored buttons in the middle here, we've got some brown ones, some blue ones, some green ones, and some red ones. They represent um, you adjusting different frequency ranges, okay? The brown ones being the lowest, the, the red ones being the highest, okay? How would you do that? Well, let's say, for example, we'll work with the green ones here. Let's say, for example, we want to boost some frequencies. We will select the frequency here with this knob. Yeah, let's go for about, say, um, five kilohertz here, fairly high. Um, and we're going to boost it by adjusting this gain knob here. We can either boost it or we can attenuate it, reduce it by turning it down from the center position. So let's see what happens. We'll listen to this uh, female vocal and I'll increase it. When you're hurting, I'm hurting too. You can hear those sort of high mids coming out there. Yeah. When you're laughing. I laugh with you. And you can increase the sort of range of effect of that by using the Q here, okay? So a wider range of effect with the Q up high and much more narrow and precise with it down low. That's basically how you use these bands. But not all of them have three knobs like that. So for example, in the low frequencies, you don't have the Q there. You just What you're doing is just um, selecting a frequency and boosting like so. Same with the higher frequencies. Now, um, the other features that we have on here, which I just want to mention quick, quickly, is the low and high pass filters, which we control down here. And then finally, I just want to point out that we also have, well, not really finally, a couple more things. Uh, we also have the ability to turn on oversampling by clicking on the word analog obsession here. OK, so oversampling simplified is going to give you a better quality of processing although it can be sort of cpu heavy so if you don't like that then you can have it switched off um, by clicking there um, now i just want to note that although although we have input and output controls here you're not actually going to hear things get louder if you uh, push this up this input control it's gain compensated so we're going to get more of that sort of analog character by pushing it up but it's not actually going to get loud. Really, really useful, actually. That's a very quick overview of this SSL style EQ, completely free. Follow the link in the description. Another idea borrowed from the analog world is the idea of a channel strip where you've got almost everything you need all in one spot, okay, to craft your sound. This one's particularly useful uh, because it's got a DS on it, which is kind of handy for vocals, but you could use it for just about anything. It's nice because it's got these components. We've got a preamp here we, where we can do some sort of EQing as well. We've got a DS, -er, as I say, useful for vocals. We also have an EQ, which we can see in here. We have a compressor, a limiter, and tape saturation as well. I mean, these could be sort of five plugins, couldn't they, all by themselves. We can see the routing of them down here, um, just so that we know what's going to where. Well, I've, a couple of things I really like about this. First of all, I love that it's got tape saturation in here. Um, I do like that it has a, a wet and dry mix on the compressor and the limiter, meaning we can basically do parallel um, compression limiting there, which is always very handy without having to use sort of buses and things as well definitely worth checking this out if you want that kind of all-in-one solution that you get with the channel strip to craft your sound now i've got to get back to unpacking boxes and plugging in cables if you'd like to find out a little bit more about why my new studio is so much better than my older one take a look at this video right 